Now, KSBW Weather with meteorologist Ferdinand Holum. Welcome back, everybody. Boy, it was another beautiful day after some chilly overnight lows. We warmed up nicely this afternoon. Scotts Valley started off at 30, peaked at 71 today, so a 40 degree temperature spread from this morning. Again, this is layering kind of weather. Monterey Peninsula, mostly upper 30s and a few low 40s out there for the lows. Highs, upper 60s and low 70s as well, so beautiful on the Monterey Peninsula. Down the Salinas Valley, we came in at 70 and 71 down the valley. Still cold in King City, 33 for the overnight low. Up in the Santa Clara Valley, lows in the 30s, highs in the middle 60s, so a lovely day up there. Here's a beautiful shot, just took this about a half hour ago. It was a beautiful sunset there, a lot of high clouds streaming in. Those are all ahead of the next system, which will come to us Wednesday night, Thursday, bringing us more rain showers as far as your temperatures go right now. Santa Cruz, 61 degrees, Monterey, 58. Here in Salinas, we're still at 60 degrees, so a lovely evening to go for a walk. As far as your winds go, pretty light, variable in direction, but the general wind pattern is out of the east northeast, and that'll continue through tomorrow. Here is your setup again area of low pressure in the Gulf of Alaska, ridge of high pressure dominating our weather, and then we've got this area of low pressure and cold front. This guy is going to combine with this guy here and they're all going to come on shore and it's going to push the ridge of high pressure out of the way and this will bring us rain beginning Wednesday night, Thursday and then showers taper off on Friday. So here's our future cast. There's your ridge of high pressure. It sits over California for the next 48 hours or so. We look out toward the west, out toward the Pacific. That's that area of low pressure. It starts to move on shore. So Tuesday will be the transition day. So Monday is still high pressure in place, still warm temperatures. Tuesday temperatures drop just a little bit. And then we start to see the rain showers move into the uh, northern part of the state there by Wednesday noon. Still mostly clear for us. Rain showers start to move in and they will continue to move in Wednesday night again, Thursday and Friday. And then by Saturday morning, we should be done with everything. And then here you can see the rain moving onshore. That goes all the way out through about Thursday, nine o'clock. All right, temperatures tomorrow. If you're heading up to San Francisco, a lovely day up there as well. Low to mid 60s after lows in the 40s. A little farther south, lows in the upper 30s and some low 40s. Highs mainly in the mid 60s. Santa Clara Valley tomorrow, mid 60s for our highs, pushing 70 down in Hollister. Overnight lows still in the 30s, so bundle up your kids for school tomorrow morning. Highs down the Salinas Valley, low 70s. Very nice. Still potential for some frost, especially down in the southern part of the valley with mid 30s. On the Monterey Peninsula, overnight lows mainly in the low 40s, a couple upper 30s, but look at all the 70s out there on the peninsula. Great day to go over there and well, enjoy the outdoor activities, whether it's going for a bike ride or a stroll on the strand down there. Up in the Santa Cruz area, lows in the 30s. Highs tomorrow, up in the hills, upper 60s, low 70s. Here's your KSBW 8-day forecast. So, to a beautiful stretch of couple days here, and then things change there. You see the raindrops there late Wednesday into Thursday, continuing into Friday by Saturday. I think we should be done with it. Overnight lows won't be as chilly once the clouds arrive. We get the marine influence, so more 40s and 50s. Best of both worlds. This is, and you know what? This one isn't going to be a super duper soaker. Mm -hmm. I mean, maybe one to two inches in our hills, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. half inch in our valley. So again, nice to keep having them coming. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so, Thanks, Ferdinand. Appreciate sure. it.